Brain metastasis, or the spread of cancer cells to the brain, is a devastating and poorly understood problem in the course of kidney cancer, affecting 2 to 15 percent of patients. Treatment of kidney cancer-related brain metastases usually includes radiation therapy, surgery, or both. However, not all doctors agree on how best to treat brain metastases. A multidisciplinary approach based on insights from neurosurgical, medical, and radiation oncologists could help address this knowledge gap. To this end, a multinational team of researchers affiliated with the International Kidney Cancer Coalition examined the literature together to figure out what existing management strategies work best. Additionally, 36 experts from 6 countries and 26 institutions participated in a survey study, answering 60 questions related to dilemmas in the diagnosis, screening, surveillance, and treatment of kidney cancer-related brain metastases. The findings showed that for screening at the time of metastatic disease diagnosis, the majority of the experts recommended obtaining a routine brain MRI even if the patients do not have neurological symptoms. For a patient with baseline brain metastasis, the majority of the panel recommended monitoring with a brain MRI every two to four months during the first year after local regional treatment and every three to six months during the second year. Regarding the treatment decision, the panel recommended a multidisciplinary evaluation considering how to treat brain metastases on an individual basis, taking several factors into account, such as the size, location, and symptoms of the brain lesions, status of the disease outside of the brain extracranial disease, and patient's overall well-being. For patients with a single brain lesion, Different treatment options were suggested, including surgery to remove it or stereotactic radiosurgery. Similarly, different strategies were suggested for people with multiple brain metastases, based on the number and size of the lesion, with a preference for using stereotactic radiosurgery when possible. In cases where stereotactic radiosurgery is not possible, the majority of the panel favored hippocampal sparing whole brain radiotherapy in the event the patient required this treatment. Based on the insights obtained from this integrated approach, our team developed algorithms to manage brain metastases in patients with metastatic renal cell carcinoma. Additionally, our panel considered the existing literature on kidney cancer and risk factors, how doctors make these diagnoses, manage the complications of treatment, considerations that need to be taken into account both before and after any treatment, and when it is best for patients to have surgery to remove the original kidney tumor in patients whose cancer has spread to their brain. These days, patients have more options than ever, and working with a group of doctors from different specialties helps provide clinicians and patients with a standard framework for managing brain metastases associated with kidney cancer. When kidney cancer spreads to the brain, we hope this work will provide a roadmap to improve care for all patients. 